Our next uh, presenter, the general manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Ned Coletti. Thank you very much. Good evening. It's with great honor that I stand before you tonight for a lot of reasons. The people in this room, whether you're a scout or whether you're a family member of a scout, or whether you work next to a scout in the office, there's nobody like the scout. And without the scouts, this game is pick up baseball, sandlot baseball. The amount of hours, the amount of time that the people in this room spend away from their family, driving around, flying around, seeing kids in small towns, big towns, full stadiums, stadiums with maybe mom and dad and a couple relatives. It says a lot for the people in the room. And uh, I'm, in, I'm honored to be in front of you tonight, I really am. Because without the scouts, uh, this game is nowhere near as great as it is. With the scouts, it's the greatest game on earth. Tonight, uh, I'm here to uh, pay tribute to a Los Angeles Dodgers scout for a long time, uh, Carl Lowenstein. I've known Carl not very long, but I can tell you that uh, first impressions my parents used to tell me are lasting impressions. And before I get into his career, I want to tell you just a little bit about my short period of time with him, but what he's meant to me already. Uh, Omar used the word family up here a couple minutes ago, and he's right, because of all the families of baseball, this might be the strongest family. And in Carl's life, He's got a very great family. His wife, Gail, is here. I'd like her to stand up and acknowledge. His daughter, Dawn, is also here. Uh, his uh, two sons, Clint and Kurt, who could not be here tonight. Um, this family is, is not unlike every other family in this room that spent countless hours uh, probably seeing their loved one or, or talking to their loved one on a telephone instead of sitting next to them on the couch. So uh, we thank you for being here. We thank you for, for letting Carl do what he's done all these years. But getting back to the family part of this thing. Um, I was in San Francisco for 11 years, and I moved out of Chicago 11 years ago, and my family stayed back. And I now have a, when I left Chicago, I had a daughter who was, uh, 10 years old. She's going to be 21 in a few days. She's a student at Miami University in Oxford. And uh, Carl heard that. And it was, might have been my first or second conversation with a man who I'd known was in the game for many, many years, but who really didn't know me. One of the first things he said is, my family lives probably a long walk from the campus at Miami, or at Oxford. So if your daughter ever needs anything, you tell her to call my wife, Gail. Tell her to call me. I've got strong sons who can help her do anything she needs to do. And I've got to tell you something. That meant the world to me. But that tells you a lot about Carl right then and there. Besides his scouting ability, where he's somebody who, who scouted and helped sign Dave Anderson, he helped the Dodgers acquire uh, Perez and uh, Omar Dahl and uh, Freddie McGriff, numerous others. He's been with the Dodgers since uh, 1979. It's not, not as quite as long as Lasorda, but it's probably close. <laughs> and he's been in baseball since 1973. Started out with the Philadelphia Phillies. And uh, Mr. Gassaway, it was great to hear you say Hugh Alexander's name. Good, One of the all-time best. So, without further ado, I would like to present Carl Lowenstein. We're going to try and give Carl one more of these later this year. Alan Simpson's over say something. It's it's my pleasure to to be here. Uh, <clears throat> this has been a very humbling experience for me. Um, I'd like to first and foremost 
thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me the ability to do this job, to keep my family safe, and to keep me healthy and safe to do this job, and to be with some of the finest people that God ever put on this earth. I thank you. I'd like to thank the founders of the Scout of the Year, you Alexander, uh, who I had the pleasure to work with as a Philadelphia Philly, Tony Pacheco, Jim Russell. I'd like to thank the executive director, Roberta. Uh, I just appreciate everything that she's done. Uh, this is such a difficult thing to do, and she's, she's treated us with true dignity and respect, and I thank you, Roberta. I'd like to thank the advisory board, Roland Heeman, who I consider a very good, good friend, Gary Hughes, uh, a very good friend, Joel, thank you. <clears throat> I'd like to thank Mr. McCourt for uh, allowing me to be here and to be part of this and be part of the, the new Dodger history. And I'd like to thank Ned, um, who has, he talked about first impressions. Uh, my first impression of Ned was that he's going to do a good job in this position. I'm honored and privileged to work for him, and it's, I, I, I just very thankful. Um, I'd like to congratulate Roger and uh, Pat and Doug, and uh, also the former winners of this prestigious uh, award. Um, going back to my Philadelphia history, I'd like to uh, thank Tony Lucadello, who uh, gave me my start in this game of baseball and scouting, Dallas Green, uh, Rudy Carpenter, and all the Phillies that I worked with. Um, my Dodger history goes back to Mr. Peter O'Malley, and, I, and there's no words to describe Peter O'Malley, but I would love uh, and honored to thank Mr. O'Malley for all that he did for me and my family. I'd like to thank Mr. Campanis, uh, Fred Clare, Dan Evans, Ben Wade, uh, Terry Reynolds, and especially Guy Wellman, who who really first contacted me about being a Dodger and gave me that opportunity. To John Keenan, Gib Boday, guys that I worked with as cross-checkers, I thank you very much. To Tommy Lasorda, who has loved and touched my family more than anyone in this room will ever know. Uh, being there for me, coming to my church family and, and uh, donating his time and efforts to my church family, and I appreciate it very much. And last, I just would like to thank the people of the past. Tony Lugadello, <clears throat> Mo Mozali, Wayne Blackburn, Danny Gale House, and Red Brown, very special people in my past. To the present, Ken Bracey. Walt, Walt Matthews, Wayne Krefsky, Tony Williams, <clears throat> John Bowles. And I'd like to say thank you, John Bowles, for your son, Blake's service to our country in Iraq. I thank you very much, John, for that wonderful son of yours who's done such a great job. To Pete Bukovic, Jax Robinson, Al Lamaki. And to the futures, Greg Smith, Marty Lamb, Ned, Kim, and Roy, A.J. Prowler, Logan White, Thank you in advance for all that you'll do for this game. 
Please don't try to change it, just improve it. To all the managers and coaches, the minor league people, to all the area scouts that were my family when I was on the road, thank you. To Jim Tracy, like a son to me, I thank you. And finally, to my wonderful wife, Gail, who's been through some some tough times here in the past year or so. Uh, to my children who miss me on birthdays, sporting events, and graduations, thank you and I love you. To everyone who prayed so hard, especially for me this year, to help me through this journey. I'd like to thank Dennis Gilbert uh, and the Baseball Foundation for helping me to get to the Cleveland Clinic this year, and uh, it was greatly appreciated. I don't have a career or a lot of success stories, but one thing I'm very proud of is that uh, Christ carried his cross to Calvary for me, and I'm thankful. Thank you. sitting at my desk before uh, coming and going through some Dodger things. And uh, I saw this picture. I saw this uh, picture, and it was given to me as the tenth, the tenth player. And I would like to give this to Roberta because I think, like every scout in here, she is definitely the tenth player for the scouts. Roberta. Well, Dan, good luck. <laughs> the general manager of the Colorado Rockies, Dan O'Dowd. <laughs>